Ratios and proportions are ways of comparing two categories of things. It could be part to part, part to whole, or just two different unrelated things, but just still a comparison. So we set them up either as colons or generally when we're trying to solve for the unknown value, we like to write them in fraction form. So if our baseline is two to three, and then we have eight to something, we can set this up as a fraction two over three and eight over x. Then we can use equivalent fractions process to be able to find out what the unknown value is. Two times what number makes eight? Well, that's four. So I have to multiply the three times the same number and that gives me my unknown value of 12. So equivalent fractions are a great way to solve ratios, but what happens, or proportions, but what happens when there isn't a nice easy whole number that gets you from one value to the next? That's where the process with proportions is very helpful. So in this case, say you um, are able to write five invitations every three minutes. Well, you only need to make 18 invitations. So if I set this up 5 over 3 and 18 over x, well, there's not a nice easy whole number that goes 5 times something to make 18 to then be able to do that, that multiply that same number by the 3. So we have a couple different options. One is using the proportional method, which means we cross multiply the numbers adjacent to each other. So if I go 18 times 3, I had done this earlier, I got to do it again, 18 times 3, we get 54. Then what we do is we take our remaining value and we divide that 54 by that value. Because actually what we have here is if I cross multiply here, these two cross multiplied values need to be equal to each other. So 5 times some number is 5x. So how do I get 5 off of the x? I divide it from both sides so that I can have x by itself and then I can find out 54 divided by 5 gives me 10.8. So to make 18 invitations it's going to take me 10.8 minutes. So that's one method to be able to figure out what our unknown value is. What I can also do is, so if I have 5 over 3, 18 over x, I need these two to be equivalent. I could take 18 and divide it by 5 to find out what value 5 got multiplied to create 18. So if I go 18 divided by 5, I get 3.6. So 5 got multiplied by 3.6 to make 18. I would then need to multiply 3 by 3.6. And guess what? It gets me 10.8. So it can work in this method as well. You just have to find out what 5 got multiplied by to get here. Um, and this is great when you have a nice, easy, round decimal, like just one decimal place, maybe two, but sometimes the division might lead to something like a 0.33333 indefinitely, and that's not gonna maybe multiply quite as cleanly. So going ahead and doing the cross multiplying proportional method where you multiply the two numbers across from each other and then divide by the remaining number that's by itself, that also can get you that x value. So that's two ways to be able to solve for proportions.